This is a quick video on an issue that I have with the Miele Triflex um, cordless vacuum cleaner. So this is the vacuum cleaner itself, the Triflex HX1 is the first series and it's the cat and dog. This is the head with the cover off and this here is the original brush that came with the vacuum. So the issue I'm having is connected to the motor assembly which goes in here, we have this plastic part, this is the the belt adapter. So this basically transfers the power from the motor into the brush head. Now, the problem is these two parts connect together like this and hair gets between this surface here and the bearing surface. And when it gets in here, it increases the friction and the heat and that then causes these two parts to bind. Now they heat up and they melt together. And in this instance, I was able to take them apart. You can see some of this material is missing and the surface here is also damaged. So when the hair gets in there, by the time you smell the hair or the plastic melting to identify there's an issue, it's too late. When you stop the vacuum, these cool down, solidifies one piece. And then when you turn on your vacuum, this doesn't spin, okay? So that is the issue. Now, to try and fix this issue, I have made another part. So the reason why I have designed this is this particular part here is part of the motor assembly. So this connects on in here and the drive belt goes in here. You must buy this entire unit here to get this part. You cannot buy this for the manufacturer uh, as a separate part. It comes as a complete unit. This is 370 euros, which is half the price of the vacuum itself. So there's no point to buy this new part. Um, you might as well just buy a new vacuum. So that's not great. Um, the same thing happens to the brush on this side. So this is like a floating bearing. It uses a, a, a brass uh, ball in here that connects into this spigot. They go in together and spin. So the same thing happens and you can see where hair has got in and this has overheated. But this part here is available from the manufacturer. As you see, I have a brand new part here. It comes with a new bush, a new head, and this part here, as you can see, is also complete. So at least this part is replaceable. However, this part is not. So to resolve this issue once and for all, as I have bought a spare head to scavenge this part, and six months later, I had the same problem where even though I clean the vacuum after every second use, uh, hair still manages to get in here and clog this. So what I did was I modeled it and I first of all 3D printed as a test fit and now I have made an aluminium part. So this is the bearing, the bearing fits in here. And then this brush head, here's a new one, fits in here. And this is where it lives. <clears throat> now, the idea here is not to fix the issue, AKA try and stop the hair getting in because I don't believe with the design of this, that's going to be possible. Uh, my solution to this is I don't, I don't mind buying a new one of these every six months or even a year because I do think the vacuum is very good at removing cat hair from carpets, which is what I primarily use it for. I then have a, a full size vacuum for, let's say, taking most of the dirt, but for the likes of carpets and stuff, I find this is unmatched. Um, I don't want to be replacing this part because it's too expensive. So in this scenario, what I hope is going to happen is if hair gets in here and it does cause a problem, that this here will be the only part that fails because the aluminium is not going to melt. The plastic will melt. So this will go in here and this can fail. And then my solution will be just to take this out, order a new one of these, in it goes, easy peasy, because this just slides in here and it's very easy to take out and it needs to be taken out to be cleaned every first, every, every use or every second use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back together with the aluminium part, make sure everything works and then test over the next while to see if by changing this to aluminium, does it resolve the issue where the bearing housing uh, melts to the brush head which eff effectively renders this useless because this vacuum without the uh, spinning uh, brush head it doesn't seem to actually suck up anything there's not a great deal of suction from it 
it seems to work very well when it has that agitation. So I'm going to put it back together and see how it works out. And if it works, I'll report back and let you guys know if this is something I should make a few more of.